Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, no much good depending on your location. Please join in the struggle to liberate our people from the contraption. Like and share videos in this update. Be fair and impartial. Well, this number can now. Honest it has tenable. Yes. The honors and able told the federal government of Nigeria to drop the charge against Maz Nandakan. Yes. The way they did to the Yoruba activists, Umoyore Shore. Yes. The federal government has dropped their treasonable for any charge against uh, Umoyore Shore. So, the Honese is saying, look, that the government of Nigeria should drop the terrorism charges against Mazen Namdekan, even as the court case approaches by 26 February 2024. Yes, in a press statement issued by Okachukwe Sikuzo, the General Secretary of Honors and Debo, said Bola Stilibu's commitment to Nigeria's healing process must encompass fairness and impartiality. Yes. Now they said, look, quote, it is imperative that justice is dispensed uniformly without prejudice or favoritism. Honest and Debo implores President Tinubu to extend this same precedent to Nam the Kano without hesitation or delay. Nigerians, most notably the Ndibo community, fervently urge President Tinubu to direct the Attorney General of the Federation, Latif Abemi, SN to halt Kano's trial and withdraw all associated charges, invoking Section 174 of the 1990 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and Section 107, Paragraph 1 of the Administration of Criminal Justice Act 2015, akin to the action taken in the Shower case. Consistency and equality before the law are fundamental principles of a just society. Honest and Debo asserts that the liberation of Namdekan is imperative for national reconciliation and stability by aligning the legal treatment with the highest standards of fairness. President Tinubu can significantly promote unity and harmony in the nation. The importance of this decision transcends mere legalities. It underscores a commitment to rectifying historical injustices and fostering a climate of inclusivity. Honest and Debo, it is incumbent upon President Tinubu to hear this impassioned appeal as dropping the charges against Kano signifies a crucial step towards healing the wounds of the past and ushering in a new era of justice and reconciliation. Honest and Debo stands resolute in its call for fairness and equity in the legal system, emphasizing that the liberation of Nam Kano represents a powerful moment in Nigeria's quest for genuine unity and progress. End of quote now. So, this is the statement on as released, talking about releasing Mazen Namukano, a side court case. Say, look, forget about this court. Though it's coming up, or it's scheduled for 26th day of February, you know, the hearing at the Federal High Court. Say, stop this legal stuff. Do not help. Release Mazen Namukano. Of course, we have seen that uh, this uh, Yoruba activist, Sonny Boho, is free now, working freely, moving in Nigeria. Nobody's disturbing him again. The guy is talking anyhow, supporting the tribal government, his brother. So obvious, he's there, Iboho. The same thing he was doing, or the same thing Mazen Kai was doing. All of them are saying, give us our own state. We want to visit Nigeria. We want a better state. We want a better nation. We want a better country. If you can't make it better, allow us to go. The boy was act you know, making activism for the Yoruba, or making case for the Yoruba nation. Yes, since the full and are terrorizing Nigerians, and Buhari kept mute, supporting them tacitly. You see? So, and uh, he has been engaging the full and henchmen. He, he, he was threatening them, attacking them, and uh, he was... Uh, he was uh, they arrested him, they says he went to his house, they want to arrest him. They killed many people in his home and he, you know, he feathered the arrest and uh, he left Nigeria. But he was arrested 
outside the shores of Nigeria. Yes. So today he's working freely as his brother is the, is the president. But the Republic, they release him, they come back and to Nigeria, he's moving freely. Freely. And so show the same thing now. The federal government said they have dropped the charges against Showare, the leader of the revolution now. Showare, Omo Yele Showare. They have dropped charges against him. He said, you remember as well. So what are we talking about? Unless he's saying, no. be fair and impartial. Be fair and impartial. You are, try, you are still trying, Master Zamekan. All these ones, you hated it from Buhari, but you have dropped charges against uh, Showare. Buhari was the one who, who arrested Showare with DSS was tormenting him, you know, they charged this, the, 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 this thing against him, you know, so, but now, the federal government said they have dropped these uh, charges, they called it treasonable felony, treasonable felony charge against Umoya Shogore, they have dropped it. So, why keep him as an why is he trying him, why is all these things, you see, see the impartiality, the unfortunate when will the people who say now they say oh Ibos, they are shouting and they are crying blue mother, they are crying foul. But this is real. You've seen it. It is real. This marginalization is not abstract. It's happening for real. Look. That's why these guys are saying look. Release him. Forget this court issue. If you want to heal, heal completely. Okay? So that is what is happening in the contraption. It's quite unfortunate that they are into divide and rule. Divide and rule. Ethnic jingoists. They want to build a, an egalitarian society. It's a lie with this hand. It's not true. They are not ready to build a nation. They are mere geographical expression. So that is it. Nothing like nationhood. Nigeria will never attain nationhood because you have seen their leaders, corrupt people. Divide and rule. Ethnic jingoists. Yes. So that is what they are doing. They are president of the Fulani, the president of the North. They are the president of the Eurobars. Eurobanized economy. That's what we are seeing today. Eurobanized economy. The Fulani people they are crying today. But before it was their turn, they did everything to stop. To, to, to undermine others. Yes? So now, it is the turn of your bus. They are losing all this. So, but they are keeping us in America. No problem. We are not asking people to, to release him again. Let him do whatever he wants to do.